All right, so we picked a lot of fruits here, guys. I'm not done, by the way. I think I'm probably gonna pick maybe three bowls worth of fruits before I call it quits today. But uh, you can see here, I've got a pretty darn good selection of fruits. And some of them do have some spots. This might be from damage early in the season, maybe a worm, maybe some plum cacurlio, maybe a bird peck, but something has definitely tunneled itself into the center of this peach. That's unfortunate. You can see these little holes at different, different uh, areas of these peaches. We also have on some of them that have been a bit more shaded, less airflow, they get these black spots. These black spots are a disease, I don't forget the name of it, but that's actually a disease that affects the visual appeal of the fruit. Uh, then of course at the top, you could see that some of them are a bit more green just not as bright. When they have more of this yellowing color here in the center at the top, that's a much better sign that they're gonna be ripe very soon and soft very soon. Here's another one down there. And then I have even some fruits, by the way. If I look here on the ground, I have some that have been affected by rot. Um, I also have fruits that got bird pecks, that uh, have all kinds of problems. One was smashed on the ground. Here's actually a very good close-up of the rot. Not very pleasant looking. It's like a brown dust. It seems like it's on the fruit. Almost looks a little bit like mold. Um, then you have some weird spot here on this one that just has formed, oddly enough, these are soft, by the way. This one here was a bird peck and it formed some damage or rot that's forming. Maybe even this one hit the ground in a weird spot. This one I know for sure hit the ground and how it has like a little bit of an indent, indentation there. So, you know, it's, it's tough to grow fruit or peaches specifically organically, but I'm doing it. You know, it's not like I have no problems but these fruits are pretty damn good for considering the circumstances. And uh, what I like to do is if there is any spots, whatever, I'll just come in here with my knife and I will cut it out. Except this doesn't want to cut. Okay, there we go. So I'll cut that out, come in here on the other side where this probably this plump cacurlio damage is, I'll cut this out. And then now I'm left with a really, really tasty peach that's soft, it was tree ripened. These I picked yesterday, by the way. I went around to the tree, and selected all the peaches that were, were soft and picked them. Very, very good. Extremely juicy now. There is more problems, unfortunately, with this peach as you start to open it up. There are, I don't really know what you would call this, but there's these brown spots in the center. And that's just not appealing to a lot of people. Uh, what you can do though, as a home gardener, is just take your knife and get rid of it. Um, you could also eat it too. That usually forms around the pit on some of the peaches, not all of them. I don't know why that is. Could be the plum cacurlio. Yeah, so this is, it's got worms in it. So <laughs> there's another really sad part, but you can see there's a, a larva of, I believe probably plum cacurlio. And it somehow got itself in here and it's been making its little home and it's been disrupting the fruit. And uh, yeah, there's another one yeah, so even though it's good and people might get really weirded out by this, I'm sure a lot of people will, I don't blame them. It's still extremely, extremely good. And I'll try to cut out these little pieces here um, that are in fact got the worms in them or got this, this problem so that I'm not eating it. But even if you do eat it, it's not the end of the world. I mean, people freak out this, over this stuff, but this is what growing fruit is at home right? You're never going to get these perfect fruits unless you were to spray. And 
again, we're growing them organically. It's extremely good. Now, I do have some trees over here, or some fruits here, from my other trees in the, uh, the front of the house, west side of the property. This is our south side here. And I have a white peach that's, well, it's a little hard as you can tell. This is a white peach I think called Sugar May. I also have another peach here. This is a donut peach called Saturn, also a white peach. Let's try this Sugar May. Much less ripe. Not as good, but of the fruits I have had off of this tree that were ripe, they're pretty good. However, I still like Red Haven a lot better than any of the white peaches I have. And it's kind of strange how that's happening because at the store, I actually prefer, before I started growing peaches and getting my own, I actually preferred the white peaches. And I think that's because the white peaches at the store are ripened more to perfection, where these yellow peaches are just not. So I was, actually what I was doing was eating a higher quality peach without even really realizing it. So this is good, but not, not great. And then we have Saturn here, which is starting to get some rot on it as well. Who knows, it may have some worms in it or something. Cut this off. That's good. Oh yeah. That's a real good one. So that's a white peach that you can respect. I think it's got some good quality to it. However, my favorite peach actually is the Indian blood peach, above and beyond any of the other peaches I've had. Better than this Red Haven, and Red Haven's a really good peach. And uh, if anyone out there really is trying to figure out what varieties to get, I would highly recommend Red Haven, Indian Free. Um, that's about all, that's all I can re really recommend for right now. Mm. They're so good. This one doesn't have any defects on it, other than that one spot, I cut it out. No worms on the inside. I mean, I got so many fruits that like, if I don't want to eat the one with the worms in it, whatever, throw it away. It is what it is. Very, very good. Now, if I want to give these away to people, probably gonna be very careful about which ones I give away. And warn them the possibility of worms. <laughs> Did see these worms in my cherries this year, and I saw some in my plums this year. So this is definitely, I believe, plump cacurlio, it is what it is, but I'm telling you guys, I literally could just sit here and eat peaches all, all day. Um, what a treat. Even considering all this bad things, I, I wanted to show you guys just the reality of it, you know? but they're so damn good. This one's just as good. Yeah, I'm obsessed. I'm making a mess. A lot of people love peaches, rightfully so. But you don't even know what a real peach is until you grow it at home. So, highly, highly recommend. Figure out a way to grow your peaches in a way that's got good airflow, good sunlight. You're pruning them well. You're getting good sunlight to the fruits themselves. You don't have to spray them, or you could spray them if you want. But I'm coming out here just enjoying nature and not trying to prevent nature from you know, happening, controlling nature.
I'm just covered in peach juice. <laughs> See you guys soon. Take care.